Hey everyone, today's it is about when he warms you up by putting his hands under your shirt. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo Katsuki. It was a chilly autumn evening, and you were going on a date with Bakugo Katsuki. The two of you were walking down the street, hand in hand, when you felt a shiver run down your spine. Are you cold? Bakugo asked, noticing how you were shivering. A little bit, you admit it, wrapping your arms around yourself. Without another word, Bakugo slapped his hands under your shirt, placing them on your stomach. You gasped at the sudden warmth and looked at him, surprised. What are you doing? You asked, trying to suppress a giggle. Warming you up, he said, a hint of a smirk on his lips. Is it working? You laughed and leaned into him, enjoying the warmth radiating from his hands. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Bakugo's hands moved up your stomach, sending shivers down your spine once again. You know, he whispered in your ear, I could warm up other parts of your body too. You blushed and looked up at him, your heart racing. Is that so? Bakugo leaned down and pressed his lips against yours, his hands still on your stomach. He melted into the kiss, wrapping your arms around his neck. I love you, he whispered, pulling away from the kiss. I love you too, you replied, smiling up at him. With a content sigh, Bakugo kept his hands under your shirt, holding you close as the two of you continued your walk. Midori Izuku, you were sitting on the couch, snuggled up under a blanket with Midoriya. The two of you had just finished watching a movie and were enjoying each other's company. As the night grew colder, Midoriya noticed you shivering. Are you cold? He asked, concern in his voice. Yeah, kind of. You admit it, pulling the blanket closer to your body. Without another word, Midoriya had his hands under your shirt, placing them on your back. You gasped at the sudden warmth and looked at him. Is that better? He asked, a small smile on his face. Yeah, it is. You said, leaning into him. As Midoriya's hands continued to warm you up, he began to speak. You know, I'm really lucky to have you. He said, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. He smiled and turned to face him. I feel the same way. You said, placing a hand on his cheek. Midoriya leaned in and pressed his lips against yours, his hands still under your shirt. You wrapped your arms around his neck, deepening the kiss. When you pulled away, you rested your forehead against his. I love you. I love you. You whispered. I love you too. He replied, smiling. With a content sigh, Midari kept his hands under your shirt, holding you close as the two of you continued to talk and enjoy each other's company. Tadruki Shoto. You and Tadruki were walking through the park, Enjoying the crisp bottom air. As you walked, Tadruki noticed you shivering. Are you cold? He asked, concerned. Yeah, kind of. You admit it, rubbing your arms. Without any other word, Tadruki slapped his hands under your shirt, placing them on your sides. Is that better? He asked, a small smile on his face. Yeah, it is. You said, leaning into him. As Tadruki's hands continued to warm you up, you couldn't help but feel grateful for having such a caring and attentive partner. You looked up at him and smiled, feeling a warmth spread through your chest. You always know how to take care of me. You said, Tadruki's eyes softened, and he leaned in to press a gentle kiss to your forehead. It's because I love you. He said. 
he felt your heart flutter at his words and leaned in to capture his lips with yours, his hands still under your shirt. You felt the heat between your bodies increase as you deepened the kiss. When you pulled away, Tariki looked at you with a mix of tenderness and desire in his eyes. Let's go back to my place, he said, his voice husky. You nodded, feeling the excitement building up in your chest. As you walked hand in hand towards Tariki's apartment, his hands still under your shirt, you couldn't wait to spend the rest of the night in his warm embrace. Kaminari Dinky, you and Kaminari were walking home from a late night study session at the library. The night air was crisp, and you could feel the cold seeping into your bones. You shivered, hugging yourself to try and stay warm. Kaminari noticed your shivers and stopped in his tracks. Are you cold? He asked, concern etched on his face. Mm hmm. You replied. Your teeth shattering. Without hesitation, Kaminari slipped his hands under your shirt, placing them on your back. You guys at the sudden content, feeling a shiver of pleasure run down your spine. Is that better? He asked, his voice soft and gentle. You nodded, feeling the warmth from his hands spreading through your body. Yeah, it is, you said, smiling up at him. As you continued to walk, Kaminari's hands moved up and down your body, warming you up and sending tangles of pleasure throughout your body. You leaned into him, enjoying the warmth and the closeness of your boyfriend. You know, you're really cute when you're cold. Kaminari said, a mischievous grin on his face. You laughed and playfully shoved him. You're such a dork. You said, but the ones in your heart told you that you loved him all the way more. Kurishima Ijiro, you and Kurishima were out on a date, enjoying the sights and sounds of the city. As the sun began to set and the temperature dropped, you found yourself shivering. Are you cold, Wyan? Kurishima asked, worried. Yeah. Kurishima didn't even hesitate. He immediately stepped his hands under your shirt and place them on your sides. Now, what? It's better. As Kirishima's hands continued to warm you up, you felt your heart swell with love and affection for him. You looked up at him and smiled, feeling the warmth spread through your chest. I love you, Kiri. I love you too, Wyan. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!